Hello everyone. Uh, our topic is related to intelligibility oriented audiovisual speech enhancement. So I'm from Edinburgh EP University. Among uh, with me, we have like three other uh, candidates. So we are from School of Computing, Edinburgh EP University. So to give a brief outline, so I will briefly present the overview, and then I will uh, discuss about speech ass assessment measures. Then we will talk about deep learning with speech enhancement. And I will briefly go through the objective functions, and then uh, I will discuss about proposed intelligibility oriented speech enhancement framework. In the end, I will uh, present my preliminary results, and then the challenges and the ongoing work. So, okay, the overview. So, the goal of any speech enhancement algorithm is to improve the quality and the intelligibility of a speech signal contaminated by like background noises and the channel effects. So where the intelligibility is the number or the percentage of words correctly recognized by a listener and the quality is the level of residual noises in that signal. So over the last few decades, uh, a great amount of research has been done on various aspects and properties of speech signal. However, improving the intelligibility and quality for both human listening and machine recognition in really acoustic condition remains a highly challenging task. So for human to human, so for speech assessment measures, for human to human uh, uh, communication, we care more about speech quality and the intelligibility. For speech quality, we normally do a listening test and we prepare a lot of samples uh, and we assign it to some listeners and they give us uh, some kind of score. And for speech intelligibility, after that we do recognition test and based on that recognition we can see, okay, uh, these are the percentage of words correctly recognized uh, by a system. So these, these tests are like uh, highly time consuming and not feasible. So we, we, we need a computational method as a surrogator. So two additional ways, two evaluation metrics are designed like PSQ, perceptual evaluation of speech quality and the start uh, short, time, uh, short time objective intelligibility to measure the quality and, and the intelligibility. So deep learning based speech enhancement system. So this is a very basic diagram of uh, any speech enhancement framework. So initially we prepare uh, a clean and noisy speech, and then uh, we convert uh, the speech, the pair of clean and noisy speech to short term Fourier transform, and then we pass it to any deep learning model. We get the output, and then we compare it against the clean uh, uh, short term Fourier transform uh, uh, spectral features, and then we compute the difference, and then we back propagate the error and fine tune the parameters. So this is a very basic training phase. And in the testing phase, uh, we first convert the noisy speech into short term Fourier transform, and then we uh, uh, transform uh, the noisy signals uh, using the trained model into uh, enhanced signals. And then we apply like waveform restoration or in, in inverse short term Fourier transform to obtain the enhanced speech. So in objective function, so these deep learning methods uh, models are trained using like uh, some objective functions such as like uh, L1 normalization or mean square error. So mean square error aims to minimize uh, the difference of enhanced and the target, but they don't consider uh, human perception or uh, automatic speech recognition performance. So there's a diff uh, so there's a mismatch. So re recently researchers have uh, like uh, discovered like we, we can use like a, a speech perception matrix such as like a STOI as an objective function to further uh, improve the intelligibility of a speech signal. So this is how uh, they have used. So for STOI computation is a, a basically five step process so initially what they do is they take the time domain signal uh, like any clean and uh, uh, we give the clean and the noisy or the process P signal to story function. So what it do is it removes the silent frames, uh, one third of a band filtering and then applies normalization and clipping. And then it applies like a, co a correlation and then it average the correlation uh, take the average of all correlation coefficients and it computes the, the STOI score. And this is the STOI score is taken as, as objective function and it, it back, propagates, back propagates the um, STOI score to further fine tune the parameters. 
So normally, this is how we compute uh, the correlation between between the noisy uh, and the clean speech, or between the clean or the estimated speech. And this is the objective function for STOI based uh, deep learning method. So normally, when we use MSE mean square error, uh, our goal is to minimize uh, the mean square error. But in this one, we our our goal is to maximize the STOI score because the higher the STOI score, the better the intelligence. So in our framework, so this is this is a conventional uh, uh, STOI based deep learning framework. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to integrate the visual information to jointly optimize uh, the STOI based deep learning framework. So this is a block diagram of our framework. So okay, so the 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 normal STOI uh, what they do is they normally take the time domain signal and then they uh, down sample the signal to ten kilohertz and then they uh, uh, the second step is to remove the silent frames and then they apply short time Fourier transform and then they compute the correlation. But uh, for our case, but the, what we did is since we are uh, also considering the visual information, we applied the short time Fourier transform. We modified the style function for you. So we are not uh, down sampling the signal and we are not removing the silent frame. So we wanted to see how much uh, difference it can make on the output. So we we plotted the scatter plot between like uh, the style and the modified style. We call it, uh, we call this function as a modified style because we are not uh, like down sampling and we are not uh, uh, removing like we are not applying VAD voice activity detection or we are not removing silent frames. So we can see that uh, our, our like modified uh, STOI correlates well with the extended STOI. So we will use this, uh, we can use this like a modified STOI uh, into our uh, audio visual speech enhancement model. So for experimental setup, what we did, we, we use audio visual, grid audio visual data set for preliminary experiments. And we are also doing uh, some uh, experiments on additional data sets like audio visual data sets. So for grid data set, we had like uh, 34 speakers out of which 33 speakers were uh, working perfectly fine. So each speaker had like uh, 1000 utterances. So we contaminated the clean utterances with like chime three background noises. So it has like bus noise, street noise, pedestrian noise and cafeteria noise. So we contaminated uh, the noise at like minus uh, 12 to 9 dB at a step of uh, 3 dB. So basically we trained 20,000 uh, training utterances. And then for the testing, we use Aspire database. So Aspire is also an audio visual data set. So recorded in real condition with like cafeteria background noise and the booth noise. So for pre preliminary results, what we did is we used uh, like two different uh, uh, fra frameworks. So for initial results, we we use the original like uh, uh, frame like a fully convolutional neural network. So this is the basic structure which we have used. So yeah, for our like uh, for the second framework, we use CoplianNet. So this is another model which we are currently using. So I also prepared some uh, demo, if I can play. Not sure if you, so can you hear? Can you hear the voice? No, no sound coming through. Uh, maybe set red by R1 soon. Now, yeah, that worked. Okay, let me play. Play red with G7 again. So can you hear it? Yes, it is coming yes. through nice and clear. Okay, okay, now that's fine. So uh, I will uh, initially present uh, play the noisy speech. So for speaker one. 
set read by R1 soon. So this is the output of a fully convolutional neural network with the mean square error as an objective function. Set read by R1 soon. And this is the output of a fully convolutional network with STOI as an objective function. Set read by R1 soon. So we can see that uh, with uh, STOI beta, uh, STOI objective function, we can uh, reconstruct some higher frequency regions. So Lay red with G7 again. Uh, Noisier transfer speaker too. And the output of uh, fully convolutional neural network with mean square error as, as an objective function is. Lay red with G7 again. And the STOI based. Lay red with G7 so again. For the third speaker. Set blue in D3 again. So the output of MSC is. Set blue in D3 again. And the output of STOI base. Set blue in D3 again. Among, we can all, like among all these utterances, we can see that we can reconstruct some higher frequency regions as compared to like a, a mean square error function. So this was the audio only uh, 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 like framework. So for audio visual, so we are currently learning some experiments. So we got some like initial results. So this is the noisy utterance. So the output of our model is. Lately, why, why so this, this is like uh, we are still working on it, and we will uh, present all of our like uh, results and like audio demo in our final version, along with like all the links and everything. Yes. Thank you.